Nico is also near this next matchup. We have Diddy Kong and Isabel with Ski and Slingshot. Ski and Slingshot. Slingshot being, of course, the, the Diddy Kong. Yep. It's, for much of the previous game, we were focused on neutral into punish game, like going, uh, watching Bars be the aggressor and watching Dill be strong on the crackback. But this game is going to have significantly less of that because these two characters, as much as Isabel does get a, a short end of the stick a lot of the times, these two play a very slow-paced game. We're going to be watching Slingshot take their time, and we're watching Skeet try and set up a zone, as we're already seeing the Gyro. Uh, the Gyroid was on the platform, but now has since disappeared. And now we have Gyroid over on the ledge, using the fishing rod kind of as a bait, picking up the banana. Now this is something that Diddy, Diddy mains do not want on their on on them. Their banana gone, and that Osnar is getting a lot of percentage on Slingshot. And Ski is doing an amazing job at you know again banana is uh, is active in uh, in Ski's pocket. I don't think I don't think he's gonna let Slingshot get it back at all. So now Slingshot has to completely change up his game and get the up smash with the gyroid. Oh my god! Yeah, not only was that an up smash out of shield, but by standing on the gyroid, there was no defense that Slingshot could produce even while uh, only approaching with a down tilt, which is not usually seen as super committal. Mm -hmm. Ski. Holding on to center stage and holding on, trying to hold on to this lead as much as possible. Landing on Diddy isn't always the greatest, but this is a Diddy without banana without available. Banana. Without banana available at all, unless they're able to take this stock. Yeah, once they take this stock, Slingshot will be able to get banana back, but I think now. Oh, that missed? what? Hello? No, there's no way. So the, the, she Isabel, crashed under. Her crouch, she crashed under. <laughs> that her crouch literally made her not get hit by up there up till. That's so funny, actually. I, she just did not see it. She, was she just ducked like, no, her I'm head good. and was like, nope, like, nope, there's nothing here. I'm gonna move out of your way, Rafael. I'm just guarding. I'm literally just. <laughs> I'm literally playing Ammo Crossing right now. <laughs> okay, there's the back uh, forward air. Excuse me. Banana is finally back up, uh, back for Slingshot. Hopefully, he's able to use a lot of the banana steps that we saw earlier. Oh, that gyro is gonna really be interrupting a lot of his. Uh, oh, you're funny. <laughs> interrupting a lot of um, what he likes to do, like a lot of dash attacks, and into um, into like fair dare whatever. Oh no. Yeah, Great timing on that fishing rod. But they couldn't get a punish off of it mm -hmm. because the gyroid was still there. And Diddy having a surprising, uh, Slingshot having a surprising hard time removing the gyroid since it uh, it takes two down tilts in order for it to explode, which is just time you don't have in most in most sets, especially which is at this hard mid, way, yeah. Yeah, and, and in this mid range, like it takes a long time, or you commit to a forward tilt there and get properly punished for your stock. Slingshot having a very huff, tough time playing this grounded game plan when Skeet is just controlling the floor. This is definitely a matchup check right now. I, having to do with Isabel as, as, as a Diddy does not sound fun in the slightest. Now, ha, have you seen Slingshot take out Banna ever since Skeet took that away from him? No. And he's that's a very smart play of his. You know, now he's he's basically had to adapt his entire playstyle into having no banana. He can only use the peanut gun and uh, if he wants to, his uh, his uh, missiles. Still, or his jetpack missile thing. Yeah, still in a pretty solid spot, only 49%, though you do have to worry about some of, uh, some of these uh -oh. traps that Ski's been putting out the DI in, able to catch with an up air of their own and plenty of these fishing rods. Slingshot finally realizing they need to pull, have Banana pulled in this comeback. If they're going to make a comeback in a situation like this, Dash attack after dash attack, but not finding the follow-up. And the, still surviving off of the gyroid, being very, very careful as Skeet tries to pressure this corner, though. It is very yeah. hard against Monkey Flip. Sling sh slings, um, she was getting so low there and was very dangerous had he dropped it for that, uh, for the fishing fishing rod to uh, get caught in that. But you know what? This might be Ski's game if, if uh, Slingshot is not able to get any of the banana combos that he's really used to getting. And that gyroid might... Oh, I'm actually surprised I didn't actually activate right there. Okay. Okay, my fault. Oh. An, an important interaction that we yep. may see very, very come much, much more often. That banana, uh, the monkey flip grab, allowing immunity from the gyroid. Because you're not touching the ground, you're touching the dog. Fastball air dodge. Skeet having a hard time finding this stop here. Slingshot continues to play evasive. Will yeah, this do it? No, it won't. Proper DI on Skeet's part, or on Slingshot's part, and not going for the grab either was Skeet, though this is no jump on Slingshot. Oh, this is. Oh, but the jetpack actually saved him from the gyroid. But he's at 195%. Anything, if you get up there, up tilted, up thrown, there's no way. There's no way. Oh my god, you're crazy. They haven't laughed about it.
You're like, that's crazy. It feels like all of the gears clicked at the very end. It really ski, did. Look right here. Realizing that he was like, super screw it. Deep back here. Darn. <laughs> oh shucks. <laughs> oh shucks. Try it again next time. Oh. I wish that I could actually like just move the whole camera, like the game camera, down to see actually what happened there. Yeah, that little fist pump as well, and, mm -hmm. and uh, laughing it off. It, it, yeah, at it the was end of the day, set. it was a tight set. A tight game one. Yeah. At the end of the day, laughing it off, it is a game, and funny shenanigans happen. We like we saw with Isabel crouching and missing up, uh, up to or up smash, like. Up smash, yeah. <laughs> Like, yo, you're funny. You're hilarious. I feel like this is a really indicative of just how Diddy Kong functions in the metagame and how, why they're not seen as that top tier threat mm -hmm. because they have such an amazing matchup spread. If you look at the roster and exclude every character that is not in the usual top 25, top 30, as soon as you start dipping a little low, See, Diddy, Diddy Kong. Kong can just sometimes lose to these rant or have a really hard time with Isabel, with Duck Hunt, with Villager, with Richter. It's like these characters that aren't usually seen and aren't usually seen as like these really meta-defining threats, but are around. And if you run into those in an unfortunate spot in bracket, like we're here as a top 24 qualifier, then suddenly you have a lot to worry about as Skeet takes the lead uh, early yet again with not only percent but also a stock off that jab confirm. And only on 34% for Skeet right now. He's doing an amazing job at this. This this this, this was his counter pick. We we're over at Battlefield, uh, where he's able to actually use uh, the three platforms, <laughs> the three platforms to his advantage with using gyro setup as well as fishing uh, fishing rod whenever he can when uh, when Slingshot is trying to kind of maneuver on the stage a little bit. And now we we all know that Slingshot has a very very smart with his banana placement or will be taken away from him so quickly like a candy from a baby. Yeah. Which he is, actually. <laughs> oh, going for the fourth throw, though. Not uh, not pocketing the banana and didn't realize that Diddy dropped it. I like that Slingshot is keeping the edge guards that won them the game. They're keeping those close to the chest. Yep. They don't want to let Skeet get used to his edge guard timings. So they'll play at this deficit. They'll take it slow. Because at the end of the day, they know they can survive for so long, and they know they're able to with punish uh -oh. that pocket extremely <laughs> hard, not letting Skeet get their hands on this banana for free. Yeah, and as he shouldn't, that banana is so detrimental to uh, to Diddy to Diddy um, in general. So it, be, being able to make sure that his banana doesn't get pocketed is so important in this matchup. But you know what? You know it's also important getting a great percentage on Skeet and making it pretty much a pre even game again. And you know what? I'm loving that he's using not banana as often. You know, he's really showcasing Diddy's raw fundamentals as a character, rather than having to, to rely on tripping your opponent up. And now the the nut has been uh, has been secured and released. Yo, Isabel got arm on her. That was a hell of a yeah, toss. <laughs> she, <laughs> yo, she's whacking you with like a, 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 with a stop sign, a, a umbrella. She definitely got arms to throw around. Oh my word. We'll see what happens in this ledge trap. Good reaction on Slingshot's part to see the Nair and punish accordingly. Oh, missing a down air afterwards, but this is a down tilt oh, into God. the up smash, keeping it consistent as Slingshot winds it their way back into an advantageous position. We'll just see how long they're able to hold it by playing around these platforms, missing the grab. You really need to take this stock here if you're Skeet, but Slingshot with the early option to avoid the setup, because Skeet was in the middle of setting yep. them up. And he rolled in right right past the gyro, right past Ski. Said, I'm gonna just scoot on by and dash attack. And I'm gonna just do a lot of stuff and do a good bomb with 30 percentage on Ski. 30 percent great on his on his name. And if he keeps his percentage, you know, honestly, this would be a, a complete difference from game one, of, of course, until up until the end of game one, where uh, Ski had a great lead on Sling. And Sling has pretty much turned it around using a lot of uh, what Diddy is known for, using a lot of the, uh, the you know, up air or uh, up tilt and up smashes. That Diddy's able to really just uh, just capitalize on for a lot of his opponents. I and mean, right now, we might see the, the the back air into banana into banana into there on the top platform. Not gonna be able with the up smash. Oh my god, I can't even talk. They're going so fast for now. Up smash on the monkey flip kick and a proper punish. Screen shot just getting a little too overzealous. Is that some good damage? 35%. Nothing to sneeze at though. Skeet needs gonna going to need a little bit more off of that. Really need to force Slingshot into the air in oh, order to find him. Isabel's mm -hmm. most prominent combo starter. That being the up tilt is where she finds most of their damage. Skeet That's unable game. to get Slingshot off of the ground for a very long period of time. Mm -hmm. And that banana 
the timing mix up on the banana toss really let Slingshot turn a game that would turn a set that was extremely close, neck and neck, to watching Skeet's eyes follow the yellow peel and the monkey would come in behind and deliver a massive punish. That's all he needed, honestly. He was saving his banana for something that he knew that was basically true. Like, he knew that if he had done the banana now, into that shot, he was going to get that stock for himself. And thankfully, he didn't have to waste banana too often, because as we did see, is what was just going to take it. And actually, Skeet did a few times um, overestimate uh, when uh, Slingshot was going to throw the banana. And he actually like tried grabbing it too early or too late. And the timing mix-up on that as well is super good and was clearly beneficial beneficial for Slingshot. Completely agree. It was very much changing up the game plan, keeping it close to the chest, and finding proper punishes and proper starters off the banana, oftentimes using the second toss as their more mm -hmm. aggressive throw because the banana would disappear afterwards. Very, very smart play and proper counterplay to a matchup that is absolutely a little bit more awkward than uh, most other characters uh, compared to most of the matchups that Isabel is in where she can kind of get overwhelmed rather quickly. Yeah, quick agreed. Play. But what's overwhelming is the fact that we're doing Castle Swap. <laughs> yeah. I am certainly overwhelmed with emotions because we're done. We're casting. done. Oh. So get, no, 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 it's okay. It's a, I'll it's see. Right. I'm you. gonna see y'all. Well, I'm gonna <laughs> see you doing closing commentary. Uh, so we'll be going to a quick break as we let, head into top 24. So I'll be sticking around. But I'll say, be back for top eight. So absolutely. I'll see She'll you guys later. They'll be striding back in, and we will be going to a quick break. So see you then.